continuing the trend of me <laughs> playing video games based off IP that I have no experience with. Me and my friends played through Ruby Gl Grim Eclipse and we played through the, the story mode and it was, it's, it's fine. It's, it's kind of like a, a hack and slash game. You just kind of have some simple combos where you, you know, basically, you know, press the attack button and then occasionally, you know, depending on where you interrupt the combo, you can press like a hard attack button, which will then give you a different hard attack to, to finish the combo off with. And uh, there's some basic leveling systems and things like that, and a variety of like, well, in the base game, there's four characters, and they all play pretty differently. It's pretty satisfying to play. It's a it's a budget game and a janky game, but like it's just good enough that I think it's, it feels pretty good to play. There's some interesting mechanics there with like setting up team attacks, so the other players can basically come in and like instantly kill certain enemies. Uh, there's like these different AOE and combo moves and things like that, and different status effects you can apply on enemies, like freezing and things like that. Again. Pretty simple stuff for the most part, but it's only a three hour long game. You know, if you're playing it single player, I'd imagine it's probably not nearly as fun. But in a multiplayer context, as something you just play while you're chatting or something like that. I think it, it, it perfectly works in that uh, scenario. But we did play the, I think it's called Juniper DLC content. It's about five bucks and you get four additional characters. My expectation was is that their campaign would be probably the same, but with a different story. Uh, but the story is literally exactly the same. So really what you're buying in that DLC is the four extra characters. But they all play very differently from the main cast as well. So, you know, if you're going to spend time with that game, I think it's worth looking at them. Uh, I ended up playing as Blake in the original story. She's kind of roguish, I guess you can say in some ways. And then Nora has basically like a big hammer she can slam around and stuff like that. But it, it was fairly fun. There's also like a horde mode in it where you can basically set up turrets and defend different points. Um, there were some UI issues, like not really showing you the full map, so it was hard to tell like what points were being attacked. If you're playing in multiplayer, you're you're usually having somebody at each location defending it. So there is a lot of communication happening between your teammates that kind of fill in those blanks. It, it's maybe a little pricey for the $20 asking price, but I think it's generally fun. And if you're looking for like a cooperative multiplayer game that you can just play through entirely with, with other people, I think it's a really good fit for that. 